Hey, what's up? Let's turn this cube into a diamond cube. Select the cube and enter edit mode. And select all the vertices, then press Ctrl Shift and B. And then select this edge. And then press Shift and Z. And then uh, click on length. It will select all the edges then subdivide it now select all the faces and press F3 and search for poke faces then select this vertex and then press shift Z and then click on uh, amount of adjacent faces it will select all the vertices then press control 3 to select all the faces and then again search for poke faces now select this for uh, vertices and then shift C amount of adjacent faces and then just scale it down like that and then press shift A and add a cube that's it now we will bevel it so add a bevel modifier and then uh, limit method to angle and then to get smooth and then uh, go to object data property and click on auto smooth and then in the shading tab turn on hard and normal mm, like that so we have this kind of geometry and now Point zero two five. Seems right. Now uh, let's create material. Now let's uh, delete principal BSTF and add a glass shader. Make it red and duplicate this one. Make it green. Then duplicate again and make it blue. So we have RGB. Now add add shader, then add this two together and then plug it here and then now duplicate this one and then plug this one over here. Now uh add math node set it to subtract and then plug this value into the IOR now duplicate this one and again make it add and plug this one into IOR now all we have to do is select all the shaders all the nodes and control G now what we will create is a group uh, node group so plug this roughness into here and then this IOR here and then dispersion here which is value and this one here normal so let's rename the value to this version and uh, plug the upper value into IOR both upper value and the bottom value to dispersion like that just like sorry this one should be especially like that now press tab now we have this shader gr node group and i will make the ior value to 2.48 like that and then i will add another glass shader and light path node and uh, mix shader now just mix this two together and light path node should be here like that so now let's go to render view and then change it to cycles and gpu and click on adaptive sampling and then go to world shader 
and here we need a HDRI so I'm using this HDRI from hdrhaven.com small studio and then just open this one and then uh, I think this one should be below like that and now it's already looking great now all we have to do is uh, add a mix shader like that over here and light path node and plug this one here and then make the background black so this uh, value is affecting the material and this one is background color now just make the IOR value match the IOR value 2.418 and we have this and I think we can dec decrease the dispersion by the way you can play around with and it will create a different sorts of results so I've used 0 0.30 0 0.130 this is what I used and here we have our diamond cube and yeah little bit of roughness that yeah that's it you can create more like better lighting to get more out of this now let's set up camera press zero and then make it box like that and select the camera press G and then ZZ to zoom in like that and I think we can just rotate HDRI looking weird like that now all we have to do is hit render but before that let's uh, set up a denoiser and open image denoiser now hit the render button all right that's it and if you enjoy this video please give it a like share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel and of course don't forget to follow us on social media and we will see you in the next one